back live at the Taste of Black Spirits, man. Of course, this is BBW Beers, Bourbon Whiskey Podcast. It's your boy Q Lewis. Hold it down live from 48205. We got the Andy Prince in the building, man. Yo, we got another special guest today, man. Go ahead and introduce yourself and tell the people what you represent. Greg Martinez. I am the president and owner of Resist Spirits, which okay. has two brands. FKNG Vodka and FKNG Bourbon. Gotcha. Hey, that is one of the coldest days in the liquor business. That is a cold day. I, I, got, I got two questions, obviously. The first question is who came up with this? So I did. I came up with it. I used to hang out with a lot of guys okay. and we'd have a lot of fun. I was at a club one day and we ran out of our bottle. It was packed, booming, and loud. And I locked eyes with the waitress and I said, in a, in a nice, short kind of way, hey, we need some more fucking vodka. And then I, I thought, hey, that could be a potential brand. Right. And so we went off to the races. <laughs> Man, I love that's, it. That's classic, huh? Yeah. Got and, and your theme is unfiltered, unapologetic. That's what I love that. So our vodka is unfiltered. 99% of vodka in the market today is filtered. We wanted to have it unfiltered to keep a lot of the body and the characteristics of the vodka there. And overwhelmingly, people say it's delicious. So uh, we're very happy and pleased with it. Okay. And so the first thing I noticed is that uh, I had heard of the vodka, but I see this guy got bourbon in it. When did you start doing bourbon? We just came out with our bourbon about six months ago. Okay. So it's fairly new, but we're we're getting a great reception by the market. Okay. Yeah. Where, where is the where is the bourbon? Uh, where is the distillery? So the bourbon juice comes from Tanner's Creek, Indiana, okay. and then we send it over to uh, Kentucky, and we bottle it there. Gotcha. So talk about that process. How was it? Uh, you had to come up with your own taste, or? Yeah, so for the vodka, what we did first, we had a uh, blind taste test with uh, beverage directors and bartenders and people in the hospitality industry. We put in unfiltered vodka. We were hoping it would come out overwhelmingly, about 100 votes. That came out on top. So that's how we picked our, our, our product for the vodka. Now for the bourbon, I have a partner, uh, his name is Mark Boyer, and he's the bourbon guy, the expert. Whiskey snob. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so he said, guys, this is what I've chosen. It's a high ride, and uh, 36, 36%, yeah, 36% ride, and uh, four and a half beer, and uh, overwhelmingly, people are really like that. You really want to go with an 88 proof. So that's a little bit smoother. And there's a lot of great flavors of caramel and vanilla. Now, I'm somebody that loves high proof. Are you all going to come up with something a little higher? We will. We're going to have some barrel picks later this year. It'll be at a barrel proof. Well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything over 100. I'll go everything over 100. Thank you. Thank you. Man, it, I'm just a friend. Not only the style, the logo, everything, but the marketing you've got behind it is really impressive. So seeing you all over in action over there, I've been enjoying this. Thank you very well, much. I'm very happy to see you all have a bourbon because we're bourbon fans. Oh, I'm, I, bourbon fans. you guys got to tell me how you like it. You got to tell me when you have well, he, He's a high proof guy. Okay. Uh, <laughs> me, proof is important, I guess, but like not as important. I, and I do have a soft palate, so I do like something that's a little sweet. Sure. Yeah, so yeah. I, I do like, I like vanilla notes. I like caramel. He likes spicy that. shit at the end that bites you back in the neck. <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah. want all that. You know, I want hair growing on my chest. So. Right, right. So I don't need that. <laughs> no, well, please tell me how, how you like it. I'm, yeah, I'm definitely yeah. going to check it out. And also, too, I got to tell you this. I was doing a little ear hustle, right? Yeah. So, I, so I heard that there's some real diversity in the company. So speak, speak on that. Absolutely. We've got a very diverse company. Uh, I'm from Southwest Detroit. I went to Southwestern High School, class of 85. Shout out to Southwest. Yes, yes. And then I went to Wayne State. Yep. Um, and then when I when I had this idea, I went to some of my friends. And so we've got black, brown, we have Persian people. Um, so we're very diverse and white, so it's very good. Mix. And I think I'm, I'm very proud of it because it shows the strength of our, of our company. We've all got a lot to contribute. I gotta ask you that too, though. I mean, coming in as a minority, how hard is it getting into like the spirit business, or is it? Hard? You gotta do a lot of research. You gotta do a lot of research. So 
have to smoke to begin with, and give you your registration and permit. And I did that all myself when you hire an attorney. I did it myself. Are you a DSM coordinator? I am. Uh, I don't know if I told you this, but I was elected. But I, before I graduated from Wayne State, I was selected to be in a secret service co-op program. And then I also worked for the White House. So I've always been, uh, I like challenges, and ambitious. Oh, so you're and, a government uh, guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're a government so, guy. <laughs> so that's in my past. Yeah, it's dope. But it, it's a part of our brand ethos. You gotta do what it fucking takes to win. Sure. You gotta do whatever it takes. And my entire team has lived that type of a lifestyle. Right. We're business people, we're self-made, we start from ground zero. So what else are you all trying to get into other than the vodka and the bourbon? Anything else? Yeah, so our uh, tequila hopefully will come out in May, June. And we just finished our prototypes of cigars. Uh, our cigars uh, okay. are from the Dominican Republic and yeah. they're hand-rolled. Okay. Guys, it's going to knock your socks off. Okay, I'm gonna hold you to that. It's gonna be great with our fucking bourbon. Okay. Right. That's okay, right. that's what I wanted to hear. Hey, well, look, thanks for sitting down with us, man. Thank you very much. Uh, great meeting you. Tell, tell the people where they can find you on the internet, on the social media, all that good stuff. Our, our website is resistspirits.com, okay. which is Resist Being Average, the FKNG nice. Extraordinary. Okay. Uh, but we're in about 300 stores locally, and we're in the big box like Total Wine and Meyer Speed. But, uh, yeah. If they don't have it, your local retailer, ask them to carry us. Yes. Absolutely. Can, can, are, you, uh, are you able to order online at all? Or? Yes, you can go online from Tijuana State, and they can buy it there. Okay. Go to our website. Hey, hey guys. Yeah. You got to yeah. 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 Thank you, guys. 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 Thank you, guys